Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So today we're going to go ahead and do a mod on the very popular Hubson H501S. Um, this is a GPS quadcopter, brushless, that's got a complete FPV system with follow me mode and all that stuff. I did a few reviews on this already. If you want to check those out, um, I have them on my channel. But uh, basically today is going to be all about doing a range extension mod on the controller itself. I'm not going to do anything yet on the quad. Um, but extending the range on the controller side should be fairly easy. All you're going to be doing is basically putting on a couple antennas. We're going to be putting on this monopole antenna here to extend the control range. And then we're going to be putting on this patch antenna to extend the FPV range. Now this is just the patch antenna off of the Hubson X4 Pro. I'm just going to go ahead and borrow it from that quad and see how it performs on this one. But um, this should give it a significant increase in range on both the FPV and control. Uh, I was getting dropouts like um, maybe a couple, a couple hundred yards um, of control and FPV. So um, this should drastically extend that range. So basically what we're going to be doing is taking apart the controller and then just drilling a couple of holes in the top here and uh, putting these two antennas in in place of the existing ones and so we can extend the antennas out. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay so first thing you want to do is just take off all these screws here. It looks like there's four of them on all four corners. So we're just going to unscrew all these screws. Okay so super simple once you have all four screws out all you're doing is pulling this thing apart and separating the shell here and nothing to worry about there's no wires attached to the back so just pulling that apart nice and easy um, it's really pretty easy so we can see the FPV antenna here and also there is the control antenna tucked away under this uh, this padding here so we're just gonna go ahead and kinda pull this out and it is hot glued down so we're just gonna kinda pull off pull it away from the hot glue and real simple these are just the push on type connectors here and so really all we're doing is just pulling these off popping these off you know you could just use a little screwdriver or whatever you wanted just to pop those off be careful not to like pull them up and twist them you want to kind of pull them straight up so anyway that one's off and you just kind of want to kind of remember which is which so this way the left hand side is the control antenna and then the right hand side is the FPV antenna. Okay and as for this one I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing pop this guy off here just like so and it looks like this one is just kinda hot glued right into that little notch in the controller so I'm just pulling that right up pretty simple okay so now all we need to do is drill a couple of holes so I'm just gonna drill holes right in this portion here and I'm not sure what size this is but it's just one of these um, drill bits that has kind of this larger portion here you just want to have a drill bit that's gonna be uh, this size here so if you want to measure what size this is and then just get something that can ream out the plastic that's large enough for this to just slip through. Okay, so first we'll do this side, just going kind of straight in, maybe a little bit to the top. Just starting the holes. Okay, so I don't want to get the drill bit all the way in there and chew up some stuff, so I'm going to take the drill bit. Uh, off of this back portion here with just an Allen screw. And I'm just going to continue to ream this out a little bit larger. There we go. There's one and two. Okay, so I got those two uh, reamed out. Now I'm just going to want to kind of check to see if this uh, fits through. Yeah, so it fits through. 
nice and tight. So that's perfect. Maybe a little bit more reaming here just to let them slip through a little bit better. Okay, so it doesn't really matter which you put on which. And then just go ahead and slide this up through the top. And what I'm going to do is I don't think I need this uh, top lock washer here. I want to make sure I can screw it all the way into the antenna. So I'm going to take that guy off. Okay, so we're just pushing that through and then putting on the nut on the top there. And if it's kind of getting stuck on the plastic on the bottom, it will actually just cinch up when you do crank this nut down with some pliers. So we'll be doing that in just a second. Okay, so then all you do is just kind of run the wire how you want, however you see fit, so it's kind of out of the way. And go ahead and uh, push it on to that same connector. Just make sure it does push on nice and tight. You're going to feel like a little bit of a snap and that means it's on there solid. So if you wanted to, you know, you could put some hot glue, not really necessary. I'm just going to kind of wedge it in like that. And as long as that thing is snapped on nice and tight, you shouldn't really need any glue or anything, but you can put a little dab if you wanted to. Okay, so that one's on. I'm just going to put them both in before I go ahead and tighten the nuts down. If we do have enough uh, bite, we can always put that lock washer on on the other side. And push this one through the other hole. There we go. Okay, and then just screw this nut on temporarily here to hold it in place. And same thing to the other side. We're just basically pushing this little connector right on here. So what I'd recommend is maybe holding the back of the circuit board just so it's not pushing it down and possibly breaking it so that you can really get a good um, really get a good grip on it without cracking anything. All right her little pop and that thing is on there great. Okay so to screw these all the way in I'm just gonna go ahead and take some pliers here uh, you can use anything that fits on here and I'm just going to crank this down so it kind of sucks the bottom up and we can screw on our antenna. We're just making sure that the inside's not spinning. There we go, that's nice and tight for that one. And now let's do this one. And like I was saying earlier, even if it is kind of touching that um, little side piece of plastic a little bit, once you really crank it down, it'll start just bending the little piece of plastic and making way for the antenna. All right, so that's nice and tight. Okay, once you got those tight, basically that is really all you've got to do internally. No soldering, nothing. Just a couple of holes to drill. And as long as you have these antennas, I believe these are four inchers. So you don't need to go longer than four inch because uh, you can already see that these are coiled up just a little bit already. Then all we're doing is just taking the back and putting everything back together. So put those four screws back in and make sure they're nice and tight. Definitely make sure that you're not going to be screwing into or pinching the wire. Make sure that your wire routing is, is uh, not going in the pathway of these screws or it's not being pinched in any way by the edges. Otherwise uh, you'll have problems with range. Okay, so all four screws are nice and tight. Let's go ahead and see if these antennas will um, screw on. So if we remember when we had it this way, uh, this side was the FPV. So I want to make sure that I put the proper antenna on the correct side. So on the left side, if it's facing up, I'm going to go ahead and screw this one on. And this one actually are both the same type of connectors with the pin. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put this little adapter. So you probably want to get, you know, obviously the, the correct series of connectors and stuff. So I'm just going to, for now, just put this little adapter on here and see how it works. Because it needs to be female on both ends to adapt 
uh, these two male type connectors. Okay, so this one's basically going to be sticking up just like that, and we can bend this any way we want. This one already has the proper connector on this antenna with the female side to accept the pin in the middle, and this side has the male side with the pin, so just go ahead and screw this on. This antenna might be a little bit of overkill. <laughs> I'm, this is a pretty long antenna, but I just went ahead and got a high dB. I think this is like a 12 or 14 dB antenna with, you know, one, two, two sections. Uh, so we can see how incredibly long this antenna is if I just kind of slide this up and you can see that antenna so probably a little bit of overkill but that's okay you know we're doing this for long range flights you could always pop one an antenna on that's like sh shorter if you wanted to and I might have some of those lying around but anyway that's it guys that's how you do the um, the range mod on the Hubson X4 H501S quadcopter or any of their line of quadcopters that uses this um, type of transmitter with FPV. You can see how simple and easy it was, just a little bit of drilling, and that really is it. As long as you have the proper coax cable and connectors, you just pop them right in, make sure you route everything correctly, and have the correct antennas, and you'll be ready to go. So I'm expecting this to go uh, two to three times further than before so I'm expecting probably I don't know maybe a mile or more range on this and that video will be coming up in just a little bit so stay tuned for that uh, range test for this guy I'm expecting some great results with this setup anyway guys I hope you enjoyed that little quick tutorial step-by-step -step process on how to mod for a uh, great FPV range and control range for your X4 H501S. When I do have that uh, long range test, flight test up, I will have uh, a card pop up here and I'll also have a link down in the description of this video if you just look under the video. And I'll try to put all of these peripherals also linked in the description so you can pick up what you need for this one. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this mod. Check out my channel. I do a lot of mods and reviews and stuff like this. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.